Welcome to the talk over. It's the Halloween episode, baby. Somebody help us because we're stepping into the twilight zone at part two. That means we have to add rules to this, Chad. The stakes are higher. The game has changed. The players have changed, but nothing has stayed the same except for the good old fashioned talk over. Are you ready? I'm ready. Do you want to <laughs> tell me what your favorite scary movie is, Trent? My favorite scary movie is probably uh, Requiem for a Dream. I really like recommending that one at Halloween time when people don't expect it coming. It's a good prank. So go ahead, everybody. Peel the grapes. Get all the noodles in the bowl. Park a wrecked car outside of the church because we're going to be talking over Scream 6, a.k.a. Screevy, a.k.a. Squeam. Chad, why should somebody watch Scream 6? You know, I, I was kind of reminded of why people might not want us to watch Scream 6 a little <laughs> earlier today. I was telling you, I was rewatching Scream 5, and don't get me wrong, I love all of these movies, but, like, they fucking killed Dewey, Trent. I was still <laughs> mad about that. Like, I'm not, yeah, I was, I, I swear to God, I went to the fridge to get my drink a little while ago. I was like, man, they did dirt. They did Dewey dirty. I thought that out of nowhere. I've just been walking around random having thoughts about all the Scream movies. Well, okay, so when we were talking about doing Halloween stuff, I knew I wanted to have Aaron on for something uh, ooky and gory and crazy. And you and I were talking about Scream because you're a huge Scream fan. I love the original Scream. My roommate loves all the Scream movies. I jumped off the boat at three, though. I, I, I'll i explain when we get to the movie. I'll talk over it and tell you why I didn't like two and three. It's going to blow your mind. Stay tuned. Um, but I, you have been such a steward of, you and a lot of the other fans have been stewards of the franchise and telling people, hey, it's still good. There's still a lot of stuff to, to come and check it out. And so this year I was like, well, I got, let's watch Scream 6. So that means this week I watched all the Scream movies. I had never seen four and five. I went back and watched two and three. And of course I watched one, which I love. I love the first Scream movie. You and I both, it came out when we were impressionable young men in high school. And it was about teen, it was about 20 somethings playing teens. And so we were like, we want to do what they're doing. So Scream was awesome. It was incredible. And it's damn near a perfect movie. The rest of them aren't. But <laughs> I think that we're going to have but a they aspire. <laughs> they do. They really do. And so so we've got a lot of stuff going on right now. OK, so I guess if, if I forgot anything, we'll talk about it You know, as we're talking over the movie. But I want to jump right into it. So um, this is uh, Scream 6. Go ahead and go try and find it on any other services. It's not available for streaming for free right now anywhere. Maybe maybe Paramount has it. It's actually cheaper to buy sense. it on Amazon than it is to rent it. So there's a little pro tip for you. But uh, this is the 2023 Scream 6. I stole the joke about calling it Scream from um, Elise Willems. This movie uh, directed by Matt Bettinelli. Alpen and Tyler Grillet. A lot of people that worked on this movie also worked on Ready or Not. That's what I come to find out. A lot of them worked on Scream 5 as well, or, or 5 Cream as we love to call it. Hello, Aaron. Yeah, it's a directing group called Radio Silence, I believe. Oh, really? Uh, oh, that makes yeah, sense. All the writers are in it, too. It's like three writers. So we got um, mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, so James Vanderbilt, Guy uh, Hi, Busick, Aaron. and then Kevin Williamson is the one I think a lot of people know of. Kevin Williamson also worked on The Faculty, The Following, which was a TV show that we covered for a, sh a short while over on The Baltic Effect. He also worked on Dawson's Creek. It was a time, everyone. Um, but the things that I'm learning is I need to watch Ready or Not. That's what I'm understanding because I haven't seen that. I see. <laughs> Let's talk over material right there, my friend. Oh, really? OK, well, maybe I'll save it. I'll think about it because I really want to watch it. But we'll we'll talk more about that in a minute. In a moment, we're going to count. I'm going to count down three, two, one and on go, which so three, two, one, go click play on go. We were going to watch Scream 6. I'm going to put up a timer here so that way you can stay synced up with it. We'll take a break at the hour mark and then, you know, sync back up, talk for a minute and then come back into it. Um, it one more thing is a new wrinkle to this. I always have to add something every single time. Go to Facebook. Look for the talk over. Um, you will find our page. Give us a like. And we I have a link up there right now for uh, bingo cards. We're going to be playing bingo over Scream because I was watching Scream 4 having a blast, hurting myself laughing at Scream 4. I rolled right into Scream 5. I learned that watching the Sharknado movies. If it's if it's if you're if it's kind of a tough one to get through and there's a lot, just go right into the next one. It'll like average out all the humps. <laughs> so I, immediately I was like, I need to write a bingo card for the next movie. So here's how it's going to work. Um, Chad and I have our bingo cards. They are different. If Chad gets bingo first, he wins. 
But if every single one of the squares is marked out, I win. Because that means I p- predicted 25 individual things that are going to be in this movie we're about to watch. And it works for all of the Scream movies, but some of them don't have all of them marked out. So this will not be as easy as you think it is. So go over to Facebook, give us a like, um, and then download your own um, uh, bingo card. I'll also put up images of the ones um, that we do tonight. So that way you can see what we got, what we did. And you can make your own if you want, because it's only for like the first 30 people that go to get that card. So... I think that's everything, doggy dog. Are you ready to hit play on Scream 6? Real quick, when did you see the original Scream Trap? Um, Okay, so what I want to say was like 97. So I would have been probably 13 or 14 when I finally saw it. And then I was sharing with Aaron uh, this past week that I threw a party when I was, man, I want to say I was 14. I don't think I was 15. Uh, I seem kind of big for 14, but I, I threw a party uh, where I wore the Scream costume and it was all inspired by them having parties, these teens hanging out. So I saw it then. I, I'm i sure I got it from a Columbia house on videotape, watched it a billion times after that. Hasn't been on the, the DVD shelf because I own it digitally. I, I used to always be around it anytime I wanted to watch it. But I, it's one of the few horror movies I actually go back to on my own because I enjoy it. I, can, I know it through a wall. I can quote this thing. Oh, um, yeah. It's just it's a steep drop off for me after that. first. One. I mean, who could forget a scene like this? Oh, my God. I mean, oh, my God. And that is four, isn't it? No, that's three where it shows the majority of it because it's that's two. Oh, wow. Dang, man. It's kind of hard because I watched them all so super close together. But I watched four or five. And then the next night I watched two and three. And the next night I watched one. That's how you should watch it. Of um, course, it's definitive order. How about you? What was the first time you ever saw it? So shout out to childhood friend Jeff Whitmore, whose birthday is a year or a day before mine. Hey, and we had a birthday party that year in the fifth grade. Bunch of guys over a sleepover. We watched Scream and Anaconda (gasps) and young Chad's life was forever changed. (laughs) Wow. And so that's why you only watch Anaconda now. That's that's your favorite one. Yeah. (laughs) Hardcore Anaconda franchise for life. Do you Uh, remember which one you watched first, Anaconda or Scream? Scream, definitely. Oh, that's unfortunate. That should have been, they should have switched that out. That's a, you don't, that's hard act to follow as Scream, as we'll see in the rest of the saga. But with, An- I don't know, Anaconda maybe could follow it. Oh my God, was Ice Cube? When you're only Anaconda? a fifth grader, it's not that bad. <laughs> oh, fair enough, fair enough. Especially back then, especially that's what we had. It's all we had to, to do, to deal with. So oh, yeah, yeah, I was watching one of the Screams and my, the first thought I had was I would love to explain to somebody young today what a cordless phone is. Like, it's big, it's heavy, and if you have it away from the base more than two hours, it's dead. You got two hours of talk time, that's it. <laughs> it's a unitasker. But uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and kick this into gear, man. Let's watch Scream 6. You ready? Ready. All right. Three, two, one, go. Uh, I'm going to pause real quick before we get started. So everybody stop. My timer's not... St- I tell everybody my favorite part of the day is when the timer starts. I reset to zero. Yeah, let me reset it. The button's not firing for some reason. Cool. I really like it when that happens. It's my favorite. <laughs> my favorite. You guys get to watch me fix this in real time. We got to have the timer. Um, so let's get this up right here. I think I can just reach inside the machine itself and do it manually. Oh, we're going to do a count up timer, dog. Make sure it works here. Hmm. Okay. Hang on just a second here. No problem. I do know what happened. Hope you're doing well out there, Aaron. This yeah. Get, guys get to watch me do this in real time. It's so much fun. Let me get in here. Switch this out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. You know, it, the screen movies, they need to come together like this sometimes. Uh, Let's see. Took them a lot longer between sequels than it's taken us between episodes. You're fine. It yeah, took them like what ten years between four and five. Like, yeah, dog. I got it fixed, baby girl. Let's do this. Everybody ready? You get it back on zero. I got mine back on zero. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Okay. You know what's funny? You know I know how to fix it so quickly. That's how I broke mm-hmm. it last time. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like silently going, how do I fix this? Oh yeah. 
All right, as we get this opening logo here, I'm reacquainting myself with the bingo card a little bit. Yeah, so the bingo card is interesting. I had to write them uh, out in like code just because it's a lot of explana explanation. So I just picked the best I could. Maybe that's they're... what I'm pulling up is the code. <laughs> <laughs> we'll explain it as we go along. If you're looking at them now going, I don't know what any of this is. That's fine. We'll get them all together. I am weirdly becoming oh, hang on let me back this let's get this right here. Yeah, here we go. So I'm weirdly becoming a big fan of hers. Um just because Oh yeah, Samara Weaving. Yeah, I just saw um the babysitters movies. Um Babysitter Killer. She's Queen. also ready or not. Yeah, that was another thing too. She was in Bill and Ted's Face the Music. Mm hmm That was great. Oh, Reggie, don't embarrass yourself. I thought about doing like text or something like that on the bingo card as well, because those were kind of coming to the newer ones, but I wanted it to be backwards compatible. So, oh, yeah. I didn't know she was going to be like at the head of the show. I, I remember that she was in it like last minute, but I didn't know she I thought she was going to be like later on or something. Oh, no. Oh, no. If she's already this early in the movie, that doesn't bode That's well. never worked out terribly for any of the scream franchise man come on i thought she was man we don't have dewey and she's in the first part she's gonna get hey the... jenna ortega survived the beginning of the last one and she's in this one i watched her last night in x x is really good i really enjoyed it that was a crazy movie i'm gonna watch pearl the next chance that i get nice and she was really her character was such a surprise like what she ended up doing so I can't tell that's not that's not the voice that's not um what's his name roger no. roger roger the voice i can't remember his name something yeah yeah jackson roger jackson oh god this guy's killing it right now This is rules, baby. This mark this one down. This one's Moses. <laughs> the reading of the rules. I can't, I can't tell if her voice is that or not. But she's in public. It should be fine. Uh, she's not in public. She's outside now. Oh, well, no. she's in New York. Everywhere is in public. So this is Ghostface goes to, to does Manhattan, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay. But spoilers, it is way better than that pile of shit. <laughs> oh, uh, was it Friday the 13th that went uh, to Manhattan? Mm -hmm. I haven't seen that in a long time. That's that. I was a kid when I saw that. That voice sounds really familiar. It's um, no, it's not who I think it is. I thought it was Jonah Hill for a second. I was like, he's not in this movie. I think I would know that. Unless we had like a sneaky Matt Damon or something. <laughs> Keep walking down to the. <laughs> Just come on. That's fine. We're partying in a dumpster. Is she? I can't, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. She's the first death. I know she's going to die. We all know she's going to die. We've seen the other ones. God. She, ah, this makes me angry. I can't have nothing. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Wait. Did the, did the killings happen in a different time and her cell phone's calling to a different time? 
Of course. This is the one with time travel, Trent. My God, that would be amazing. Hey, Sharknado did it. <gasps> but she heard his voice without the changer. She could identify him on voice alone. Youths. Jeez. Right? These kids. Oh, there it is. Nice shoes. So I was disappointed by two things in the Scream costume that I bought when I was in high school. One, I grew up a chunky kid and those costumes are not for that. Two, it's not the same material. And I didn't like I grew up in a time before Spirit Halloween. So like I had no idea that they make them of the cheapest material you can find. I wanted it thick like that. I wanted the little sparkles. And there she goes. There, I have no reason to watch the rest of this movie. <laughs> or do you? But did she come back as a zombie? Now, if she comes back as a ghost and Ghostface has to fight a ghost, now we're talking. Oh, that's the voice. I knew I knew that voice. It's Zero or it's Flash. Or the painter guy. He's Tony he, Reviolori. Rev, I'm not saying that right. Yeah, I mess Reviolori. up. So, Reviolori. Almost every episode of this has had really hard to pronounce names. I am so sorry. Because we watch good movies. That's a good point. <laughs> there you go. Well said. Man. He was so good. And um, I really liked his like really. It wasn't much of a performance because it was such a small. He had to, he didn't do a lot of you know words. It was very it was just really good. But in um, French Dispatch, I thought he was really good playing the young version mm, of Benicio yeah. del Toro. Where he's like painting himself and getting the paintings, getting mad at him. <laughs> yeah, he's great. He never looks like the he's same. Very person. underrated. Yeah. It's so weird to say because he looks so different, but that voice is like, hey, what's up, Spider-Man? You know. So apparently Jenny Ortega didn't get the same thing that everybody else got after a scream happened to her, huh? Because she's just living a life. Oh, yeah. College, buddy. Yeah, but no, everybody's like, like after all the screams, you know, there's compounds and there's caller IDs and there's afraid to go outside. Well, Sydney went to college, too, and screamed, too. Yeah, but she wakes up to a caller ID, like a hell of a like, I know, like she's prepared for. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, wait, we already knew he was. the. I'm OK. Wait. Is this? What? No, I wouldn't be surprised, Killer. That's not what that is on there. This is hard to do and a bingo card. I shouldn't have done it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm regretting doing bingo cards. Well, we though. can always catch up at the end if we get too entranced in the movie. Sure, sure. And you too can at home. I will say, oh, well, hang on now. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> this is a surprise killer and it's in the first eight minutes of the movie this is the free space in the middle because he's the killer and this is a surprise killer this movie's off the chain i know i was sitting in theaters and i was like why haven't we gotten the opening credits after the kill like usually they flash the title wait so he's also the first god <sighs> How many ghost faces are there in New York? Do you think since they're not in the country anymore, if somebody wears the ghost face costume out and it's and they're not a killer, do you think they go, dude, you never should go ghost face. Never go ghost face. It's not OK anymore. We did that in the 90s. It came back around. It came back around. OK. <laughs> Bunch of killers are like, we're taking it back. Ooh, I was just watching Mine Hunters the other day too. I put it on in the background. Netflix was like really pushing Mine Hunters. I've seen it a billion times. I'm just like, okay, fine, I'll watch it. Stop being needy. <laughs> and it, a lot of that talk about Ed Kemper is like this when they what describe this? like what the the body becomes. It's ugh, ugh. any Dahmer fans out there? Our. 
He's talking to his roommate. At least that's what he thinks. Yeah, why is he talking to his roommate over the phone? That's weird. Why don't you just ignore each other like what I do? Right? <laughs> Even he's like, what are you doing, man? This is weird. It's not that big of an apartment. They're in New York. Right? It's probably a $100,000 apartment right there a month. Right. Man, I watched a video recently showing um, like a $1,000 apartment in New York. Wow. I like the the talk of it being a closet is real. Like I I was... It's crazy how small it is. Oh, cool. He's got a podcast poster. I don't even have a poster of a podcast. (laughs) I should have made that a trope. No, because they don't really have that in the first one. It's just a trope in movies in general. Like, I get it. I get it. Podcasters are nerdy. You don't have to every movie. I hear you. (laughs) I could be cooler. I'm trying. Yeah, on the bingo card, there's one I'll go ahead and talk about now because I don't think we're going to get it. They're probably not. uh, There's one called We're a Clone Now. Ah, They're probably not going to say clone cell phone. They said it in one that I was like, they wouldn't have said that (laughs) normally. Right. So that's why I think there's a chance that it might be said. All it has to be is said. So they could say, you know, originally the killer, the first killer cloned a cell phone. That counts. Maybe. Rim rules. Right. Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, this is how you teach your roommate a lesson about throwing out expired food, Trent. Uh, What's unfortunate is I'm the one that doesn't throw it. Wow, that is. Oh, no. Now he's going in the fridge. Oh, look at his old weathered mask. Oh, let's go. Man, that sucks. So he's not in it either. Oh man. Oh, there, Jesus. All right. So for starters, best intro. This is the best looking one by a mile. This is way better looking. Even this looks even better than the first one. I wonder if the soundtrack's nearly as good as the fourth ones. <laughs> Was it the fourth one? No, it was the second one that has the good soundtrack. Yeah. It's got Dave Matthews and Master P. Oh, wow, what a time. Very of its time. When they went into the party and Dave Matthews put... Oh. Oh. Good, good morning, Mr. Phelps. <laughs> Whoa, it's him! Yeah, I didn't realize that was that guy. It's Kittredge from Mission Impossible! I gotta do my, mission, my only Mission Impossible impression. It, Ethan, cut cut the red wire. Ethan, Ethan. <laughs> oh my god, a terrible impression. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ving Rhames. <laughs> Ethan. <laughs> Man, and he was just, well, so. Wait, this was oh, so. This was this year. This movie. And yeah, this is early. So history. was Dead Reckoning. Mm-hmm. Good on him. Jeez. Wait, what number is Dead Reckoning in Mission Impossible? So seven. Ah, uh, it occurred to me. I think it was yesterday or t- maybe earlier today. We're doing this is the seventh episode of the Talk Over. Uh, I just um, it, we're doing Scream Six. I missed it by one. Right. <laughs> the kind of thing where you think about it later is like we should probably fire him for that but I'll blame it on an intern (laughs) this is a good time to talk about this the reason I didn't like Scream 2 
um, when it came out is for some reason I thought that Cotton Weary was Billy Loomis's dad. And I can't <laughs> I can't defend ah oh, Jack Quaid. I can't defend my I love that it, this is so oh. true though, real quick, that it's Reddit and they all would be like mm -hmm. crazy. Is that one of them? Uh it is uh Brittany Jordan Peel. That's an obvious reference to another horror maker. I know that's her name, but it came up on the thing saying it. Her last name's Carpenter. There's no way it's not yep. a reference to it. Well, they killed Wes in four, and that was mm -hmm. Wes Craven. Mm -hmm. In three, they had a Roman. Or in five, sorry. I always confuse that one. Uh, Roman is the director, so Roman Polanski. And then uh, Stan is the F uh, effects artist in the third one, so Stan Winston. Like, it's, it's, mm -hmm. I was like, this has to go in. And I thought Brittany Jordan Peele sounds like the most shoehorned reference to a horror maker I could think of. Uh, okay, this so, guy is such a pansy, though. I, I gotta call it out real quick. He's like, Kittridge? I think you should tell me all the details and uh, explain to me so I can actually help you as a psychologist. And she, she tells the truth that he's just like, I'm now gonna get freak out. Like, <laughs> it is a good, it is kind of cool to start on this because it does harken back to, you know, like Halloween and, and other series that has like the therapist oh, Terminator. He's got, definitely got that archetypal like therapist beard of like, we could hope. Absolutely. And it's and it, and it also reaches back to an older time with the tropes, because back in the 90s, nobody really understood therapy. Like people like openly mocked it in comedy clubs. It was like Tim Allen did a whole set on therapy. He didn't, but he might as well have. <laughs> So, yeah, I for some reason, I thought that I'll start over <laughs> for like 10 minutes ago. For some reason, I thought that Cotton Weary was Billy Loomis's dad. And I was like, that jabroni is like four years older than his own kid. This doesn't make any sense at all. I hate this. And it bothered me. And he even had an old man named Cotton, who is named Cotton post 1950. And he made jokes about the cost of a cup of coffee. So I was like, yeah, they wrote this for someone older and they just liked Lee Schreiber, Schreiber, who is an incredible actor. I absolutely love him. But I thought it was supposed to be somebody 20 years older. And it, it made sense in my head. And then I was talking to, I, I think it was Aaron that I was talking to. And she said, uh, so I said, oh, no, wait, wait, that's not Billy's dad. She's like, no, why would it be Billy's dad? She's like, he, Billy's dad's in the first movie. I'm like, oh my God, he is in the first movie. Yeah. <laughs> So I don't know where I went wrong, but this whole time, my problem with two and three was that <laughs> I thought Liam Schreiber looked way too young. <laughs> when I figured that out, they're great movies. Love them now. They're wonderful. Right. All perfect. No problem. She's great, too. I think she. No, she's not. She's something different. I thought she was the person in Dark Knight Rises. Totally killer. She's in Totally Killer as well. Yeah, she was one of the Mollies. Okay. Tully Killer was a lot I'm of fun. I'm just making that connection now because we watched that the other day on your recommendation. Yeah, yeah. I was surprised, but I've watched a lot of slashers this year. I mentioned this in the last talk over, but all my friends make me watch horror movies that are really ooky. And so what I do is I just make them wait until Halloween, October. And I do Haunted Honda Days where I watch nothing but horror movies in Halloween. And I just don't sleep at all. Um, I think I've gotten in like 20 something horror movies since the beginning of October. Pretty good one. Yeah. Pretty a, good lot of, this year. a lot of crazy ones. Terrifier was wow. Yummy was great. Yummy was wonderful. It might be the only zombie movie I get in this year, too. Hey, unless can't. Well, I guess they're not really zombies. I was going to say the evil deads, but. I love that they got the guy from She-Hulk in here. Wait, was he the the uh, not assistant, one to but... rock one to stock? Jesus, that guy's amazing. I can't believe those other two people that I was excited to be in this movie are dead. I've been <laughs> watching movies like this my whole life. I think all the way back to like executive decision where they're like Steven Seagal in a plane and he dies in five minutes. <laughs> and Drew Barrymore in the first one. I guess you know what? It makes sense. That is this franchise's deal, like to subvert your expectations. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um. <laughs> You've not seen such a subversive. Ah! Okay. Did Wait, you see the screen mask? This, with is, the... this is sensitive sensitivity. So this is uh um uh what is it called? A seasonal insensitivity, but I rewrote it as sensitivity. That's when you're wearing ghost face, but it's okay because it's Halloween. Oh, I'm real close to a bingo trap. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
That's good. That's good. If you win, the I still problem is, win. is that one of them though is we're a clone now. Oh, you're I oh see. Mm. Oh wait, is this party party party? This is party party party. Hundred percent. Good call. There's a party in the movie. So Ryan. yeah, I'm one away from a bingo, and it's we're a clone now. Oh my god. Gross, don't go. Or do. Just be careful. Wash your hands. Text somebody where you're going. Also, he went right for room. That's really like, go find a corner and neck for a little while. What's, what's up with you kids right. these days? He's into it. Is she sexy pumpkin? <laughs> Wait. Back the camera out. Oh, no. I hope she's not doing the It's a banana. I hope she's not doing uh, the I'm going to do bad things because I'm upset about life thing because I hate that. It makes me sad and I wish I could. I wish people could get help for those situations because it's tough to watch. Right. Luckily, she's got a lot of good friends looking out for her. The guy in the car. I will say, though, that like this group's group of survivors versus the group of group two. I feel like these would do a slightly better job of like looking out for each other. Oh, really? Like Gail didn't really give a fuck no. about the other two. And Dewey only showed up once the murders were happening. Like Gail, I don't think has ever saved anyone other than to, to be exciting or her own skin. I mean, maybe I'm wrong right. on this, but yeah, no, they actually don't. And Nev Campbell just kind of is thrown around in some of these. They sort of just pick her up and truck her places. Oh, she's a pineapple. These are great costumes. Right. What are you going for for Halloween? A pineapple. Your costume's also too also awesome too, Chad. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You know, this is a great conceit for the film, though, to do Halloween in New York. Like, mm -hmm. fuck, that's a lot of places to hide. It's a good point. It's hard to run a lot of stairs. A lot of stairs to run up and fall down. Whoa. Bro, he started dragging her upstairs. That's that's now, a no go. The guy that's in the cowboy hat, straw hat, chat. Is he it remind? Isn't he like related? His relation to like Randy or somebody? Or am I thinking of somebody else? Yeah, him and his sister are Randy's niece and nephew. Got they're, it. They're right next to each other, right there. Got it. Got it. She just tased that dude in the fucking balls. Yeah, he was wearing fabric pants. You know, he felt. All 110 volts of that shit. There's <laughs> 110 volts of find out. <laughs> yeah. Taking a he little is definitely sterile. <laughs> taking a little girl up to your room is a whole big ass party there. Do that later on if she's vibing, if she's feeling at the end of the night. Maybe it's wrong, but I would have tased that jabroni too. Like, I'm sorry. Y'all need a calm. Yeah, that jabroni needed to be tased. Calm down. This is already a tiger group now that you mention it. If they had been there, maybe Smart Weaver would still be here. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. And Flash. Oh, the knight's wearing pumpkin girl's hat. I thought his costume was cardboard box and then the knife that cut it up. <laughs> oh, I bet you that when she was wearing it, because she was a pumpkin being carved, she was a jack-o'-lantern. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Makes sense. I don't want your life. Gotta let me fly. Oh! So there's people that are simping for Jack Quaid. I can see that. He's a handsome guy. Look what happened with Ted Bundy. There's a whole Reddit thread or page that's like Woodsboro truthers out there. Like, 
That's too real. That's too real. Yeah. Wow. She was flipping on it through the phone with the therapist there. And there was like a picture that when you saw that picture of Jack Quaid, he was like covered in flowers. And like he was so innocent. Like if I ever got an opportunity to interview Jack Quaid, I would ask him what his favorite Dennis Quaid movies are. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to know. I want to know. Like, but not the movies about his mom um well i would ask that too it's just i grew up watching like way more dennis quaid movies i'm a big are you just assuming that top gun is obviously his favorite movie his mom's ever done it have to be yeah because like what else he can't like milk money <laughs> so yeah most... frequency i bet he really loves frequency uh yeah i could see that one that was probably oh that was probably gonna be a weird one to talk about I just want to know if he agrees with me that the remake uh, Footloose was really good. That's what I want to know is if Jack, if anybody out there knows Jack Quaid, could you ask him if he also likes the remake Footloose? Because I think his dad killed it in that. <laughs> and Fly the Phoenix and Inner Space. I could go on for days about those. God, what if it was? That's, I didn't even think about his mom, man. Wait, hold up. Yeah. So wait, she's he's hold on, hold on. So he's Randy's n n cousin, nephew. nephew, and she is Randy's. She is not related. Oh, to that's anyone. what I thought. Yeah, she's her this, older sister is Billy Loomis's is, kid. Yeah, and then she's the half sister of. Okay. Okay. For so I thought you said a moment ago that they were like a bunch of people were Randy's, and I was like, oh. So this no, just him and his sister. Okay, who's the movie nerd more so than he is? Well, I didn't listen on a bingo card, but if you have sex, you end up getting killed unless you're Neff Campbell. I'm just putting her out there. <laughs> is she the only one who fucked and survived? I mean, it's pres it, we presume other people did, like you know Dewey and and Gale. Yeah, but like in the movie. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, pretty much everyone. Yeah, you're they like they do a, follow that old horror trope. Yeah, you either <laughs> become the killer of killers or you die. There's no in between. What was it that I heard today that said cock? Oh, it was Brandon Lee Mulligan. He said the word cock a lot in that video I watched earlier. Oh yeah, it's just a lot of it. <laughs> it was funny. But since it's girl, uh, a girl interrupting a girl, it's actually called Taco Blocko. Just putting it out there. <laughs> Cock block is, uh, hey, you know, you can do either way. I'm just, you know, adding to your vernacular. <laughs> That's called a clam jam. Oh, oh, I thought that was something else. Uh oh, who's this tall, dark, and silent, handsome man? <laughs> oh, it's him. That's the guy from. I'm just gonna call him She Hulk. And he's got Coors. What a bro. This dude's awesome. Ah, oh, he's going to die now, isn't he? Man. Badly. Yo. You, know, you never. Okay. So they know each other. Did I miss that earlier? I was talking. No, he, she purposely was playing like she didn't know him. Oh, oh, ooh la la. Stranger. Oh, oh no. I hope you don't come into my apartment. Oh, no. I forgot to lock it. <laughs> this guy's amazing oh, he's right? gonna die soon isn't he it's coming up I like him way too much oh you know he's already got the knife sticking out his back Trent you just can't see it I did see someone walk in and I don't see them anymore This is the second one where they reference somebody saying they smell like soda. No, that wasn't this movie. It was another one. Boy, these horror <laughs> movies run together, man. <laughs> I bet. But there was one where somebody, I think it's It Follows. Somebody said the other person smells like uh, cherry soda. So it smells like something in cherry soda. That movie was radical. I'm surprised oh, yeah, I, I vibed with it. It was out. freaky. It was one of the few where I was like, this is bothering me. And it wasn't for a gore reason. 
this one definitely has moments that they aren't over the top gory, but like this one definitely scared me. <laughs> this one? Yeah, this is the scariest since the original for me. Also, Genos, you know, I think the last I, name was Brockheimer. <laughs> We've already got that mark, funny. but. Well, I was also by myself in the theater seeing it too, so that might have helped a little, but yeah. Okay. Uh, bring uh, big guns works out a lot. What are you talking about? Come with us. Love interest is always the, which by the way, oh. that also pissed me off that they killed Dewey in the last one because he fucking called that shit like I had another thought about Dewey. I've been thinking about Dewey a lot, but I think they should have handled Dewey more like the knight in um Holy Grail, where he's like Monty Python's Holy Grail, where it's like every movie he loses like a finger or a hand or a leg. <laughs> and eventually like he's I think they should put a robot parts on him. I don't know, man. There's you there's just don't get rid of him unless he was like, I really don't. Please don't make me do these movies anymore. And if that's the case, thank you for your service, Mr. Cox. I do love that man. Oh, we were talking about Dewey's theme as well. They changed it between uh, two and three. Three is a different song. And it's 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 deeper. It's lower, like bassier. Nice. Yeah. But then they went back to the original for either the last one or four. One of the two. One of those two. They played it like a lot. Oh, this one's going to be all about framing everyone. Oh, this guy. Yeah, that's the dad of her new roommate. Oh, dip. The girl that we said was a totally killer. That's what her dad like. Hey. Oh, he's a detective, huh? Mm hmm. I hope there might be like some uh, seven vibes. I love seven. I don't watch seven during Haunted Honda days because I just watch it every couple of months for fun. I don't know why. Something's wrong with me. Oh, her thing is still. Oh, no, it's not. <gasps> We're a clone now, but they didn't say clone. Does it count? I dog. I think if we go by rim rules, we can. It's is. Let's do it. It's Halloween, baby. Let's do this. This is. Uh, you got. You got a bingo, man. Diagonal bingo. All right. What are the ones that you have? In We're the a clone now. Mm -hmm. Sensitive surprise killer Moses party party party. All right. <laughs> Okay. I'm not even close to one. Also, I couldn't use orange, so I used red again. It looks like bloody fingerprints when you do it on markup with a highlighter. It's, it's perfect. Which, I, if I ever did another, like, a real-life Halloween bingo, I would make everybody dip their fingers in red ink and stamp their... I think that'd be fun. That's what happened to... Uh, if you remember Chad at the end of 5, he was trying to turn off the tracking thing so the killer couldn't track him. And he had too much blood on his fingers for his phone to register oh, when he was pressing. Yeah. So he threw his fucking phone, which was brilliant. Yeah, but... yeah. if a trash truck happens to be driving by, that's the best time way to get rid of yeah, a tracker. This is wild that they're just... He's coming at them out in the fucking open well, in public. Here's the thing. So I've weirdly watched a bunch of videos about spycraft. <laughs> don't, don't judge me. But when you're in a situation like this, if you can have a quick change costume, like if he had that where he could snatch it off or something like that, he would just be another person on the street. But this is obviously not spycraft because, oh, my God, he's just going to kill everybody in the store. And this is this I, I've seen this scene. This is like put out for promos. A big part of it's in the trailer. Mm hmm. Um. This scene is still just way fucking intense. It's it's crazy. It's crazy to see as somebody has been watching this since I was a teenager and to get to the point where they're just, yeah, out in broad, like, well, it's not broad daylight, but they're in a bodega in the middle of just open hours. Oh, no, scary mirror. Oh, no. Oh, no. We didn't even get to know him. Oh, my God. The, there's a really funny thing about Terrifier is that he also just has a gun. So like he tortures and mutilates people, but then just shoots them too. It's kind of funny. and It's kind of weird. I heard there's a third one of those coming out. I got to watch the second one now. I'll totally watch it. I, now that I really know like what's up with it. It's, it's more slasher. It's super gore. It's to the ultra to the nines. Um, it's, it's like a love letter to 
those. But I've heard the second one's like even better made. Like it's got a better story. The first one is really just like gore after gore after gore. It'd be great for like a party or something. <sighs> ho, ho, ho. You know, that's something I always appreciate about the Scream movies is that they're survivors. And I think that's what elevates these movies too. The survivors are fucking like not idiots. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, they have to be you smart never watch them going, you fucking idiot. You should be dead. It's like, no, that's fucking smart. Yeah, you should survive. Like, it's earned. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to point out too, this movie is clearly sponsored by Coors, and I'm fucking here for that because it's the second movie sponsored <laughs> by Coors on the Talkover, baby. The official beer of the Talkover is now Coors, and I love oh, The Banquet oh, of Beers or whatever. Uh, oh, 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 well, that's, yeah, yeah, so Banquet Beers. So Broken Glass is Annie Lennox on the bingo card. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. It was going to be call. it was going to be Puff Daddy, but I didn't think anybody would get that reference. I think two more people understand the Annie Lennox reference than they would the Puff Daddy reference. Oh no! My shotgun! Ooh, pop tarts. I think I think the government needs to step in with this problem that we're having. The fact that uh, you know you can go into any gas station and readily available, easily super addictable, super addictive. They make available uh, pop tarts. I think they should stop selling pop tarts because my God, I want a box every time I'm in there. <laughs> And I need the government to step in and help save me. Right. Save me. Little dirty little cherry. Safe little brown sugar cinnamon. Chocolate on chocolate if you're nasty. Who's Richie Kirch? Huh? I'm just I'm That's Jack Coy. Yeah, I know. Oh wait. Oh, Like it was cooler. <laughs> and then I tased someone at the party. I committed assault. <laughs> yeah, we tased the guy's nuts. It was great. You should have been there. Ask your daughter. She was there too. No, was she at the party or no? I think so. Hmm. If she wasn't, that's upsetting. It's wild. It's good that stage soda toss is put on TikTok to make her look like she's insane. That's what I say. That's what I hate about youth is you never know when you're about to be one of their talk. There be a TikTok, you know, like a secret accident on TikTok. Hey, we're on TikTok now. Talk over TikTok. We're on Rumble. Somebody suggested Vimeo. I I I don't think I'm gonna. Do, I might do that. I don't know. We'll see. Facebook page. I don't think I'm going to make a just Instagram account just for it. I think I'll just stick to those places, those rivers and the lakes that I'm used to. Mm-hmm. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Yeah. Yeah, not that the last movie looked bad. It's just th- this is better style. Like it's 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 tough because the difference in five and six so far, as far as like color palette, as far as their shots, it's not that far off from it. Like this isn't worlds apart, but it is it, it, that getting one notch higher. Hey, um, get, welcome back. It, best screen character. Yeah, I know, man. And other horror stuff as well. Um, but this getting from the level of five to six of how this looks is hard. It's hard because your work's not cut out for you. I think I think they really I mean this looks wonderful. Mm-hmm. Whereas some of the other movies are are they they don't look good. Fun um, fact: they actually tried to get her back for five, but they couldn't find her. Uh, they just literally couldn't find her to get a hold of her until it turned out they were working on another show and happened to know the producer of Nashville, which she was on at the time. And they're like, "Hey, <laughs> can you get a hold of us? We can't get a hold of her through her agent." And they're like, yeah, she was happy to come back. That's ha- <laughs> what? <laughs> that's like what would happen in the like 80s, because that's what happened with Ghostbusters. They sent something to Bill Murray and was like, hey, be in this movie. And he just never heard back from him. And he showed up on the day, the first day of shooting, because that's how they did stuff back then. Right. What do you mean they couldn't find her? She has a manager that has Apparently an not office. Very good one. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Hey, maybe she's taking some time off, man. 
it's so weird because I can't think of a time where she looked like she looks like an adult and every other thing I've seen her in, she's, you know, she's teenagers played in team team screen movies and the the game that when she she was in the until no. What was the video game she was in? Until Dawn? Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's so funny about this, too. I never realized how short she was until this movie. She's like standing next to everyone. She's very else slight. Yeah, she's, she's very short. Yeah. So is Jen Ortega. There's a bit is a wide array. And they don't they don't tr- they don't try and pull some shenanigans. Everybody is how tall they are. Oh, the boss is back. Everybody clear out of the room. Oh, what? Oh! <laughs> Call that a Kansas City shuffle, Trent. Somebody better turn that into a TikTok. <laughs> yeah. That's her job. That's how she makes money. So this is her sixth appearance as this character over however many decades, mm-hmm. which is a record only matched by Gen- Mia Jovovich in Resident Evil. I never even six, considered that. Six times playing the same character over multiple decades. Wow. Earned. Earned from both of them. It's a it's a thankless job they've both done. <laughs> it sounds like she at least really enjoys these, though. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. You wouldn't have to work nearly as hard to be in a screen movie than, as you would a Resident Evil. No offense, but like it would be a lot more fun. Because Resident Evil, you've got so much action you got to do, and then you're shooting with all the green screen stuff, and there's a lot of technical bits, and and it's cool, like the spectacle they put together. Um, I don't think they're particularly good movies. I still go to watch them, but with this one, you know, she would, she's not in, she's not putting harnesses on and flying around the screen, you know. And you know, like, oh, this is a, this is called Hello Scream. This is a real movie inside of the of a movie. Oh, we should have marked this one off earlier because in the beginning he was watching a Jason movie. There you go. See, it's hard to catch these. Would you have got a bingo faster? No. If I get most. Oh, what's up? I keep forgetting. I really like what they did to write Nev Campbell out of this one. She's not in this one. No, they just covered in a line of dialogue. She's like, once she heard about the killings in this one, she said, I'm going to hide with my husband and kids. Uh, They couldn't pay her. (laughs) Enough, <laughs> and she's like, I deserve more because I've been the face of this franchise for five fucking movies, which true. deservedly so. After it sounds like it's not completely bad blood, though. She's willing to come back for a future movie, but she's wanting a little, little, little cash, a little cash for the time. Oh, Mr. Kittredge. Oh, in the cheek. I'm not going to count that as Armajar. Armajar is on the the bingo card, but that's Armajar is when your arms through the door. And that was glass, not wood. So it's not wood shop where a knife goes right through. Yeah, oh, this is mean. Nick Cave spelled incorrectly, by the way. I hope he doesn't mind. Let's I'm go, sure baby. I love this man. <laughs> This is such a great song. It's so hype when you hear it too. Oh, great scene. There's a secret in this scene I'll share with you later. Trent. <gasps> oh. But this is the rules. This is. This is Scream Plus. This is where they're adding to the existing rules. It's about to turn into another one, I bet. It might not, though. They have to name a bunch of movies like in succession or say a fact that's really. Yes, baby. There was even a good like stab music there. This is wonderful. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A requel. This is gross. I hate that word. <laughs> okay. That's a good pull. 
<laughs> okay. We're probably not going to get wiki words because this is doing what Scream 2 did. And Scream 2 took how like staunch that was, like how it was separated out these over these people talking over each other in like Wikipedia articles, and they changed it in how Randy talked in the second one. I was really impressed with that because I was like, man, I never give this movie enough credit because I had the thing that was wrong. This is the same thing they did in two. Any other one of the movies, when they have this moment, it would have been like a robot. This is in this. So this is already making this movie better than a lot of the other ones. Yeah, she's great. Yep, I love her character. She's way better, Randy. We're also we're grouped up more than a lot of the others. We're grouped up quickly, kind of like the first one. It's nice. Safety in numbers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is it about stab that makes people want to go do it that's never been a thing that's ever happened i guess that makes it for a good horror saga but was there right. something about if it's not maureen prescott it, then it's one of the stab movies and they're like you know what we should make one of those <laughs> doesn't help that i guess uh woodsboro is a town that's like a farm town for making movies because everybody knows movies right Oh, I don't think I realized till this movie that Woodsboro was in Michigan. Oh, yeah, I never knew that. That's weird. All right, I know this is kind of jokey, <laughs> but we're doing rim rolls. This is accused. This is where the wrong person's accused. OK, that can be filled in, too, when they do the scene where anybody names a whole bunch of people that kicked in in number two, I believe. But I didn't make it a trope because it's not. Well, it happens in the first one. Well, that sounds like something the killer would say. Just putting it out there. <laughs> God, I would not make it through these because I wouldn't friend up because, you know, I have trust issues. Like, I wouldn't trust anybody. Yeah. I would think a teacher might be. It could be anybody, man. You'd probably accidentally say, I'll be right back. I would do it. I, you know, I would overdo it <laughs> just to get it over with. The guy who doesn't take it seriously enough and then ends up dead and everyone's like, oh, we thought he was fine because he always keeps saying that. Like <laughs> what I would do is is it gets close to Halloween time. I would just sort of slowly back away from like hanging out with my friends. And then if they invited me to stuff, I would ghost on them a little bit. I would just be like, oh, I can't make it to that because I got something else going on. And then what I would do is stalk my friends and then wait for killings to start happening. And then when I see the I'm spying on them, so I see the killer come after him. I then kill the killer. So, <laughs> oh. Yeah. But did you see what I wanted to point out what he did at the beginning of this scene? She is very obviously eating and he's just like blood and gut scene. Oh, like, asshole. Come yeah. on. I know she's tough as nails, FBI agent Kirby, but like, don't be a jerk. <laughs> tough as nails, Kirby. <laughs> so this is why I said you should watch at least four and five, because they would spoil it all right here who all the killers were. Oh, OK. She was awesome because she she was also in uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and she was one of the, the killers in that. And, I, and she was phenomenal. I hated those guys in that one. No, I'm okay with them. He's the one I really did. He was his was the wet blanket of the series, the third one, in my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> Timothy Oliphant's also like not a good casting for that. He's very charismatic and a he was supposed to be an analog for um for Matthew Lillard, and he you can't be an analog for Matthew Lillard. It's Matthew Lillard. He's he's the craziest man ever. He's the serial killer. He's Scooby Doo. Like I still have a soft spot for it. Uh, he's but Timothy all fantastic is fantastic. Like he's great. Yeah, it's just I would rather have seen him be like the director in three. Like that would have been way more interesting. He really could have done something with that. That would have been more his, his right. speed and he could have brought all his charisma and his style. Um, Love to see him. Wish he would have been in something in another place in this, though. I think you should get out of my dreams and get into my get into car. car. Just kidding. Yes, we live in sorry. New York. We don't have cars. 
<laughs> it made me think of Dark Place when he's driving in the car. Um, the something lover, and Matt Berry. Wait, say that again. I'm sorry. When Matt Berry is having the dream about uh, in Dark Place and he starts singing the song Secret Lover. Oh, my God. I forgot about the car in Dark Place. All of those, the like golf cart with no roof. A cow gun, take me away. I haven't watched that in a little while. It's almost too much Garth Marenghi's. For those that don't know, you need to watch Garth Marenghi's A Dark Place. It's it's you actually can find it places now. Used to we had to hand it to each oh, other Brian. on thumb drives. Um, That's how I got it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Off a park bench. <laughs> yeah, we would, man. That was it, that was still like an underground kind of thing. <laughs> what? Even the news is like, fuck you, lady. Do they usually put the prime suspect up on TV like this? Also, why didn't they just go? To her no, house. but you could see that in like a Fox News world where they would just be like, prime suspect. <laughs> the detective like knows her cell phone number. What? Oh, man. Yeah, even the mainstream media believes that Richie Kirsch is innocent. Uh... I know, isn't this movie so good? Because he's just like, ah. This is... This is a a real movie. This thus far is nowhere near as derivative. It's not leaning on its predecessors very hard. We're at like fifty one minutes, so it's that's pretty good. Like you've you've we're pushing in towards you know towards the the last half, and and it doesn't feel like it's it feels like it's something. This is this is it's pretty good. She's crying. You better live her alone. Uh, live her alone chad and i were just at a, a gaming um a gaming convention and and beetle and grim usually comes there matthew lillard's company and so i told him i wanted to yell out to him like across the room like live her alone i'm sure he hasn't heard that one there sure. a million and a half times i do that and he just like catches up with me in the parking lot and beats the shit out of me dumps his starbucks on my car that'd be a great day to tell everybody that Matthew Lillard kicked my ass. <laughs> That'd be the greatest day. Right. I'd start a Twitter just to post that. Oh, that's a great name. I'm not able to listen to it super well, but uh, the music is sounding, what I can hear is actually pretty decent. Right. There are some times where they're like score and orchestral music is a weird choice. But how do you feel about Core 4 as a nickname? I like Fab 4 better, but Core 4 is good. Core 4 is better. I used to have a group that I hung out with. Hey, wow. Jesus. Yeah, you better. <laughs> right? You ever put that shirt on before you iron it, huh? That's how they got the R rating in this one. <laughs> Yay, caramba. R for rawr. <laughs> um, Yeah, I used to be in a friend group. And we called ourselves the Fab 5. Because we were always hanging out. We were dorks. But it was fun. Dude, you know. Don't do that. <laughs> he kicked the windows down. So he's like Ace Ventura. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. Like, I see you, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, all right. Now they're making it weird. Throw a rock. Um, or something. You probably don't have a rock in your apartment. Throw your remote. Throw the book you don't, don't like the most. Don't commit to Core 4 as a name. It's not a good branding. Like, break their window, dude. Like, seriously, huck a baseball bat. Like, like you'll fi pay for their window later. They'll be alive. Also, I like Danny as a name. It's my uncle's name. No, she can watch him ghosting her or her. Go he can watch her ghosting him from across the street. Yep. That's brutal. Oh, and they think they're fucking in there. You know what? For Scream 7, there should be like six killers. You know, because there's there is a thing these movies do. I didn't throw it on the um on the card. Oh, that's scary. It's right across the alleyway. Ooh. It's in the calls coming from inside the house. No, 
he air dropped it to him probably to just be like, yo, pay the fuck attention. Oh my god. Um yeah, no. So I think there's a moment in oh no. That's bodied. I don't care what you say. I have a bingo. That's a body <laughs> slam. Totally. I mean, she was dead, but I intended it while you're alive, but hey, here's where we are. Um I keep having a thought that I can't complete now. I don't remember what the it's thought is. It's very intense right now. <laughs> yeah. I've started making lots of great faces. I'm going to have to start telling all my friends to start pitching bad movies because <laughs> it's hard to do. <laughs> I think I'm the only one that's pitched a bad movie. Oh, fuck. That is a uh, mask kicking. That's where Ghostface gets his shit rocked. Ooh, I'm one away from a double bingo. Dude, I've got I, I need a Mori show. I'm waiting on a Mori show as well for another one. Their walls look like most ceilings. I was thinking about something in... Oh gosh, I don't remember which one it is now. I think it's Scream... Four? Whichever one that starts out with Nev Campbell. Oh, it was almost Armager. Um, The one that's... Oh, oh I thought we were going to get it. Whichever one starts out with Nev Campbell and the... um where she's doing the the job online where she takes the calls from um three three yeah where she's like a, the helpline yeah, she works for the crisis helpline yeah so in that one she has a deadbolt like way at the top of her door and i don't know why someone put it that high i mean i there might be a reason like it's harder to kick out or so- oh what you're gonna have to be trinity Oh, I don't like this. They're not made to work that way. They're not made to work that way. They're not made to work that way. I have had a I've watched a friend bend his work ladder over a pool once before. Oh, I don't like this. This is not safe. Right? Oh, I hate this. This is Trent's worst nightmare, the safety denial. <laughs> oh my god, and it's a ladder. I don't even know what to call it. Why I'm does so he like, have that ladder? It doesn't reach the ground. <laughs> Everyone needs to stop right now. Everyone needs to calm down. <laughs> Let's talk about this a minute. Uh. Make his big ass climb across and go beat the shit out of him. <laughs> uh. What are we? Four floors, five floors, four floors? Yep. It's okay, baby. I got two ladders, one to rock and one to stuck. That's amazing. That's amazing. Everybody needs to go watch the She Hulk show. And 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 everybody that complained about it, you need to watch it again. Right. And just let yourself laugh and at the jokes. Examine your life choice. Yeah. Don't do. don't don't overthink it. It's not meant to. It's funny. Also, if you turn that sideways, it's more surface. It's just it's ge- geography. If you instead of having it long, it's topples. She won't be. Yep. Good thing is they got a replacement for the core four when they lose her, huh? Well, she's not part of the core four. She was just in the scene where they were high five in core four. Oh, she is, but not the girl, the other girl who's half her stomach's leaking out. Oh. That's just Mindy's girlfriend. Oh, you're right. You're right. Well, now it's going to be the five five. The job five, the live five. Oh, because they're the one to live. They're Harry Potter. Got about a minute until we take the hour break, man. This is intense. Oh. See, if you would have done it lengthways, then it would have. Okay, now's not the time for I told you so's. Right. Girl. Girl, go. Girl, go. Girl, go. Go faster, please. Oh, no, he's putting the knife down. He's getting serious. Hey, hey. The wood in the knife in the wood. Oh, that, that is uh, a knife through wood. That's wood shot, baby. It's not exactly how it's intended, but hey, rim, rim rules. Let's have fun, not rules. Just flip it over. Wait, why am I rooting for him? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, guys, we're getting right. Oh no! Ah. <sighs> oh! 
Let's go ahead and hit pause, everybody. And oh my god, I'm in an hour and three seconds. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a great place to pause it right here. <laughs> oh, did I pause two seconds later? Are you still on her face? No, I'm on the other two's face. Oh right, no, cool. that would yeah, be a so terrible right. one. Yeah, yeah, for right? sure. That's I was like, oh. Oh my god, this is such a I may have to rethink this hour pausing thing because that was a little they always hit at certain times that are like, oh, I should wait. Okay. So uh, we're going to step away for a few minutes. We're going to take a five minute break. It's the five P timer for personal time, PPs and poo poos. Um, if we're a little, little bit. Yeah. If we're a little bit late coming back, just hang out in the chat and talk. We'll come back and talk for a few minutes. So, um, yeah, I guess that's uh, pretty much it. See you in a minute.
right uh i'm gonna apologize to everybody i've had our microphones off this entire time oh they couldn't hear us no they couldn't that's uh, a real bummer hmm i don't really know what to do about that one hmm let's rewind the movie i'm just kidding well nobody would have known to start so i swear to god i'm actually it's only been 10 minutes do you have it i paused all right so oh my god how are we gonna do this because the timer's still going so i tell you let it do like we said like how you did the first wow i have completely screwed this one up everybody i'm very very sorry so i'm gonna stop the timer um so god we um we talked about a lot of stuff, so we'll maybe bring it back up later at the end of this, but back your movie up to an hour three and you can actually hear us talk about it. When I upload this to VOD, because I don't think that we have a whole lot of people watching right now, so when I put this up for VOD, I'll trim it out in the middle and we'll come back. Sounds good. All right, so hour, one hour and... I'll dab so it's easier to find. Okay. <laughs> I'm wonderful. In the edit later. Hopefully you'll just be going by like, oh, there's the dab. Easy. Just cut that. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry, everybody. This is so embarrassing. Okay. Let me get it back to our three. Well, then we get the wiki words back. Oh, gosh. You're going to have to help me with those. So I want everyone to know, too, wow. that while we were muted, I got two more bingos, actually. <laughs> so... We'll touch on those. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm pausing an hour three. Everybody take your movies and pause them in an hour three. We had a false start. I've made a whole bunch of mistakes. The timer is at an hour ten. I'll start the hour, the timer back up at, at when it's supposed to be, and I'll make an announcement about it. I'm so sorry this was so difficult. We talked about a bunch of things. And, you know, it's kind of a rite of passage with um, podcasting in that there's you usually have an episode that you didn't record. And you have to go, oh, man, we have to scrap that one. So I think the talk over has gone through its baptism by fire and it is is now an official thing. We have had moments of just talking and going without having any audio whatsoever. Um, so real quick, we're going to kind of talk about, um, you know, all the stuff that was leading up to this moment. It was very, very tense, but we were getting all of our bingo markers. So, you know, I have to back up the ones that we just got. So you, during that time, we got what? Wiki words? Because I can Stab actually. City. And stab city. That's the only two we got? Yeah. Oh, excellent, excellent. Okay. So I'll just back out those two. We'll bring them up again where we're at. Chad has... has so how many bingos are you at right now? Just one or two? So that would... I was at two. That would have put me up to four. Oh, okay. So right now, currently, backing up those, where are you at? Two. Two. All right. So we'll keep up with those. Uh, oh, man. I don't really want to tell that story again. <laughs> I tell you what, we'll, we'll, we'll real quick, Chad. Remind everybody. We'll we'll go through this again. But okay, you're in um you're in a horror movie situation. You're in a scream, and Ghostface is coming after you. You're in your home that you have right now. You know the items in your home. You have to pick an item that is not normally would be used to what I called on here was mask kicking. So it's whenever Ghostface gets his shit rocked, like somebody hurts him, throws a bottle at him, slams him, or something like that. What would you use in your home? You know, it kind of, the I think about it, given a little bit more thought, it kind of depends on where I'm at. We have a lot of shelves and heavy things. Like, if he attacked me in here, I think I'd try oh. to pull the calyx over on him, and then he'd just be dead, because, like, that's like 10,000 pounds right there. Yeah, you uh, have but, easily 100 D&D books on that shelf. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he would be dead. <laughs> they would still be would pulling out take, the remains. Right uh, Thor's hammer and just, like, finish the job. <laughs> Yeah, they killed he uh killed the killer with Thor's hammer. Uh what's that how do you spell Mjolnir? Uh uh you have it right there. There it is. Oh, and that's not that's even like the that's the video game one too. So that's even a little more aggressive. All right. Um okay, so if I was caught in a situation where Ghostface was coming after me, I have a concrete dragon. His name's Donnie. He's Donnie the Dragon. He's about two foot tall and he's heavy. He's made of concrete. He's meant to go outside. My parents were getting rid of him. I said, No, you give me Donnie. Donnie's gonna watch my place. Ghostface is coming after me. I'm picking up Donnie and I'm tossing him. I can't throw a concrete dragon very far, but I can toss him across the room and I'm just gonna go, Don't drop Donnie or something really quickly. And so then he drops his knife and he has to catch it. You have to catch a thing somebody throws at you. Oh, so yeah. he's, he's gonna drop the knife catch Donnie and then I'm just going to run up and punch him a bunch. I'm just going to punch. I'm just going to keep punching and I'm not going to stop punching. I'm going to kick the knife away. I don't even want it. I want to punch, keep punching him. That's how I'm going to win scream. Let's, uh, let's start this movie. Like for screen the... seven has been spoiled. successfully. <laughs> let's, 
let's, let's start this movie for the goes. yeah let's start this movie for the fourth time good lord all right we're starting at hour one hour and three seconds three two one go uh, how you know what i had just got out of my mouth before i found that i had said i had six pro or i had five problems i messed up on tonight there's probably gonna be a six for scream six that was six right there baby that was a big yeah. one i'm sorry bud uh, no we're fine dude thanks for thanks for being chill about it thanks for not walking out <laughs> <laughs> where was i gonna go home <laughs> just leave the zoom call I'm going to go to this computer now. Trent has no idea how to hit play on a movie or a timer, let alone them at the same time. I'm done with this. It's not your fault, Sam. Oh, we get to have this again. I'm going to pay attention to it this time. Best love interest in one of these. I'm worried that they're going to kill him because... Scream is very friendly on the heroin. And so any guy that's going to Jerry O'Connell. Yeah, he got killed, killed all the way, didn't he? Because pa- no, pa- Patrick Dempsey made it through that one. I was surprised he lived um, and then was never brought up again. Patrick Dempsey, by the way, dreamiest man ever in his Wikipedia article. The first sentence is American actor and race car driver. I don't know how to be cooler than that. Oh, yeah, he was in three. That's right. Mm-hmm. I wonder if he's the Mark that they never see. Like, she was talking about her husband, Mark. I don't remember his character name. <gasps> I bet it is. Oh, oh, I love love. Oh, and it's Patrick Dempsey. Yeah, I had said that as well. I, sus- I suspect him, too. That's such a weak, like yeah alibi too because oh, like, a classy you totally couldn't just not go to a study hall you know how many times i just no one could have told if i was in study hall or not in uh for a class in college like no in a giant lecture hall class they don't care if you're there or not they're just guy shows up and goes all right here's some math and then you're like <laughs> fuck what am i doing here here's some math time for science math 101 not as easy as you think no yeah oh yeah we get to do revenge again yeah i was saying i would hope this guy suits up like he puts on a scream costume and goes after some people hell of a way to end a partnership now i'm too old for this shit that's a great delivery of that line yeah he's pretty wonderful he's in just so he's he just pops up like everywhere this guy right Yeah, could everybody just stop going from zero to pissed off at each other? <laughs> it does happen quite a lot. I mean, I get it. Emotions are running high. Sure. Oh, and the boyfriend is also very sad he didn't have a thicker ladder. <laughs> <laughs> so Brandon, who was on the show when I watched, uh, I got to tell this story. Brandon was on that was on the, the talk over when we did Smoking the Bandit. Um, we were hanging out at his apartment. And we'd all had some drinks. We were in our 20s and, and there was just a bunch of people over that we had worked with or friends from work or friends of his wife's or friend. You just we just a uh, hang out. It was like a maybe seven to ten person party. Like we were just having drinks, having a good time at a pool at this apartment complex. Um, and he had a ladder, a work ladder in the back of his truck. And so I don't I don't know how it got started, but we took that ladder out and we slid it out across the pool and he started walking across it and it just did the slowest bend down into the water you've ever seen. It like baptized him. It was just like, doop. And I went, <laughs> Oh no, that belongs to his work. No, I just saw it. Like I saw his job going away slowly flash before your eyes. <laughs> I, I don't know how that turned out as far as work goes. His wife was pissed. <laughs> I bet. Oh, my God. Okay, so we talked about this a little bit, and I won't sound so stupid this time around. Because <laughs> now I know what this is. I know that they, they set this up. Yeah, 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 for sure. And I had made the joke, are we going to the Batcave? I was not too far off. Also, so this is the one we oh. called Stab City on the bingo card. Because oh, yeah, good call. While not directly, I mean, 
they are relics from Stab mm-hmm. and IRL Scream, but. Yeah, um, it's got it memorabilia kind of from Stab. It's got the components of it. I, if I was Casey watching, Becker. yeah, um, there's two. There's the the classic fax machine that blew up in three. <laughs> of course, of course, the fax machine. And that's a bingo with Stab City. Yeah, nice. So you're at three now. Yep, that's three. They're gonna start coming. So Stabathon. When they killed or tried to kill people, the Stabathon, but it was the fake third act. Man, so Stabathon is the fourth one, right? Yep. There's a good. I mean, if when we get done with this, I'm either watching Ready or Not or Stab or uh, Scream Four, because uh, it's so buck wild. <laughs> best death of in, so in my good. opinion, a best death shot of any horror movie is in Scream Four. I, I think the one with Anthony. I mean, I think people could talk me out of it, but I would start the bidding at Anthony Anderson's death scene. Because I think it looked, it doesn't look like the rest of the movie at all. It looks like they took, I Googled it because I was like, is that a different camera? Um, it looks so incredible. Yep. Fuck Bruce Willis. Who's, <laughs> who's drawings? And why? I'm always weirded out about that when I go to museums and they're like, here's a drawing somebody made of this artifact. N- neat. Why is that there? <laughs> Is that of any significance historically, or it's cool? Right. Uh. Uh. And that's what he's been leaving at every crime scene. Whoa! It kind of is like <laughs> seven. Oh my god. Okay. I keep having to check the time on this so I can start the timer back. If you've come back to this point, and you're like the timer's not going. We're at hour six fifty three, about to turn over to hour seven. At hour ten twenty, I'll start it. Uh, <laughs> we get to see this again. Wonderful. Oh, why did he? Could they? Is it? I. <laughs> You know, I do things all the time that are not good, and I have to go, fuck it, we just have to go with it. Case in point, tonight's episode that's turned into a shitfire. But, you know, I'm going to fix it when we get done. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not going to just put this up on YouTube with a whole fucking weird part in it. I wouldn't put a movie in a theater where it's like, that's weird looking. Like, you could have done a voice and, like, <laughs> with just a picture. They don't have that Disney money to de-age him. <laughs> I feel like, though, they could have gotten, like, old footage of him talking and, like, dubbed it from the movie. I think that, I feel like there's a way that's not that because it just it, it's either his face or their technology. One of those two. Those two things are not working well together. And it takes you out of the movie, in my opinion. You brought up an interesting fact. Words. Yeah, yeah, this is this is them doing that. But you brought up a good fact about the TV killing somebody. People not realizing how heavy TVs were back in the day. Yeah, there's no way they didn't kill him. And then they have like trend, uh, not transistors, but um, yeah, this is wiki words. When everybody starts listing movies like this, this is what I was saying. I'm I'm the biggest movie person I know, and nobody talks like this. The people that talk like this worked at Blockbuster with me 20 years ago, and they don't talk this way anymore. <laughs> And also, I mentioned uh, there was a secret I told Trent about earlier. Uh, when they were, when she was giving her uh, franchise rules, Annika, who mm-hmm. died, was dressed like Tatum from the original uh, mm-hmm. Rose McGowan's character. So they were kind of like foreshadowing there that she was going to die imminently. It's a good, it's a good throwback to it as well. Love the character Tatum. Love Rose McGowan. Watch Planet Terror the other day as well. Love Planet Terror. Coming up to hour nine, so about a minute. Let's start up the timer again. And then we'll get to wait and see what exciting new thing I broke. <laughs> yeah, I'm discovering it with you guys. We're learning together. Oh, they're walking upstairs. That's where you're going. I know it's supposed to be running, but you know what? I've had a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> I need this. <laughs> Trent, what's your favorite scary movie counts as the pop quiz, right? Yeah. 
Let's do that. So we had that in the opening yeah. moments of the movie because remember when he, uh, Zero was asking the woman on the date, hey, what's your favorite scary movie? You're a film professor. Mm-hmm. Um, Yeah, we'll count that one. Uh, let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right. We're at an hour and 10. Oh. 10. Hang on just a second. We'll uh, start this timer back up. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Booyah. We're good. We're synced, baby. What a good sound to bring you back into. Did you hear that? Nah. Some broken arrow. <laughs> Wait, was it dun 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 dun? I may have it a little too quiet for that. Dun 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 dun. Dang. Uh-huh. Girl. She has a necklace that's like a half and half necklace. And that show Gen V, the person that can change to male or female, also has a half uh, pearl necklace on one half. Another half's a chain, which I thought was an interesting. They're really good at the details in Gen V. There's a lot of little stuff. If you pay attention, you'll pick up. And there's probably tons of stuff I'm missing. So, Right. Oh, man, that's I love turntables. Show. I love it. How many buckles? She's an FBI agent wearing that jacket. I would also make fun of her too. I'm sorry. She's from the Atlanta field office. Oh, never mind. That's that's fine. When you're in the hot, <laughs> Atlanta's got a little more style. Sorry, New York, but uh, I'm I'm siding with the uh, hot Atlanta on this one. You just there's just a little more steez. Sorry, and I smells, figured. Yeah, you changed when you heard that. <laughs> it smells less like pee, so it wins. Yeah, keep them on the line for 15 seconds. All right, so you were saying something um, a moment ago. I may have cut you off about horror movies, about a, a horror movie. No, I think we're good. Okay, cool. Poor Randy. <laughs> <laughs> Stay frosty out there. Dude, they make they make inner ear. Thing. I'm wearing one right now. You don't need <laughs> Is that guy. Just an eyeball. Did I? It's Halloween, but nobody else is like outwardly. And it's. <laughs> see, everybody else is dressed as a jogger for Halloween. Oh no. To keep them on the line, just five more. Oh. Yeah, what is up with this? There's just random people with just. Wait, what the fuck? Nobody's in a costume. It's all just masks on top of just their regular clothes. <gasps> he hung up at 14 seconds. <laughs> Have you ever seen the movie The Big Hit? No. So you probably shouldn't. It's pretty bad. It's a Mark Wahlberg movie and he's on a team of assassins and then he gets screwed over. And so then all the assassins are hired to kill him, almost like a John Wick. And um, but it's it's nowhere near John Wick. Um, But they call a place to ransom something and they're like, who's this guy? Um, Sorry, I'm shaking my head at that guy like Dewey's not even been dead. How long? I know you were separated. Who's new Dewey? Newy. Um. <laughs> Wait. Hey, only having six buttons is kind of hard sometimes, you know, just saying. Well, this guy's got a real oh, I, I oughta attitude, man. Right. All right. So let's talk about what we got. L- that's New Dewey, yeah. I mean, New Dewey's pretty handsome. I haven't seen Tumble for you, No Duh, Thunderwear, Maury Show, or Second Amendment. Or Watch Out. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Watch Out is with the killers behind them, and no. they don't see it, right? Oh. So what? it should have been Watch, comma, out. And so that means their watch is out. That's when they have unnecessary police uh, protection where they don't protect at all. Oh, gotcha. So the watch is out. 
That's kind of like this whole movie because now that he's like, we're going to kill him. Yeah. That is funny, though, that she's never talked to him before over the phone. Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Ah, come on, don't don't speak ill. I don't know why, but this scene makes me weirdly feel slightly better about five and then killing Dewey because it's like, oh, she did care. Like it's like uh, it's like knives in a character for Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, right? man. Yeah, see, this is when I would throw Donnie. And I'd be like, don't drop Donnie. And he'd be like, oh, no. Damn. I frying pan across the face fucking hurts with cast iron. So did you mention a moment ago you don't have no duh? I don't have no duh. So that got mixed around in some of the translating. That's the free space. That's surprise killer. Oh, yeah. So maybe it reads one on one and different on the other. But either way, they'll both work for it. So we got that one. You said it a minute ago, and I was like, I should check on this while we're while we got a moment. Yeah, Gail. Now, I'm not going to give this one Second Amendment because Second Amendment is a non gun haver having a gun. She's a gun haver. That's hers. It's her. Oh, yeah. Her like, of course, Gail Weathers has a gun. And a home phone. <laughs> She's old. She's still paying that thirty five bucks a month. <laughs> right. The Spectrum guy talked her into bundling that <laughs> <laughs> internet and cable. Because, of course, she has cable. She hasn't cut the cord, Gail. Yeah. Just going to point this out. There might be somebody coming to help you. Maybe not just keep firing. Like the other ones. Like like Nev Campbell wore under a tight shirt. <laughs> no, that's how Dewey got got. I'm surprised she doesn't have more of a panic room. So this one's big about the evidence. This one's big about trying to, which I guess the first one was too, because they were going to pin it on um, Sid and uh, the dad in the first one. Or maybe not pin it on Sid, but pin it on the dad. I mean, that's kind of always a theme. They try to pin it on somebody else somehow. Yeah. But like after the first one, it's like really like it becomes less believable pinning it on the same character over and over, you know? (laughs) Yeah. Jesus, Gail. Oh, no. Not not, not new, Dewey. No. Gonna miss him. This is great. Oh, no. She gonna star 69 him? Yeah. Kids, a- kids ask your parents rang. about star 69. That's actually a fucking ace move. Like- <laughs> yeah, it's pretty slick. <laughs> That's why she's Gail Weathers, man. No. 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 Yeah, pull the mask off. No. You know, because of all these rules, because it's like, oh, good thing she's in um, athleisure wear. Okay. Um, but yeah, it, it, you know, making it so out there, like like on the front, like on front street that um, anybody could die i think you know killing dewey makes it unsafe for everybody else that's another good thing that comes out of dewey uh, dewey's death so the dewey death simul system 
Yeah, like the only reason I don't want to get into hyperbole here. Okay. Uh, five was great. <gasps> it's a five was, was a great movie, but like Dewey's death just not it wasn't poorly done. Just as a fan, I hated it so much that I was like, that's why that one got the low rating. But dude, that hey, stab with about the to glass join was incredible. Right. That's a non-gun haver with a gun. That's Second Amendment, baby. <laughs> Welcome to America. <laughs> and that's a bingo. <laughs> How many bingos are you up to now? So that is one, two, three, four. Yeah. I okay. That's not right. One, two, three. Yeah, four. Okay. I thought a fifth one, but we didn't get Maury show. Yeah, Maury show is a secret relative. So it's like someone's like, oh, I'm actually somebody's brother, cousin, mother. Nephew have her. Yeah. I love that. Tell City didn't get me. Yeah. He kind of got you, Gail. Yeah, he got you, Gail. You didn't, <laughs> you didn't, yeah, you didn't do that to yourself. I mean, it Isn't... looks like you're still alive, but. But but how much does it cost to pay Courtney Cox to be in these? <laughs> That's going to depend on how much blood they have to transfuse inside the ambulances. <laughs> how expensive is it to break? How expensive is it to revive a star? Right. People get mad at me because I'll do that from time to time. We were watching um, uh, Murder on the uh, Murder on the Orient Express. I'd never read it or seen it, but I was like, "Oh, Johnny Depp's the one that's going to die." <laughs> and Nate was like, "How did you know?" I'm like, "Because he's he costs the most to be there." Right. <gasps> he hasn't been around. They didn't let him into their super fun group. He said, don't trust anybody. It's the boyfriend. Four, four. Plus whitey. <laughs> What? Stop. No, we're not doing that. You know no one there's doing that. Stop it. Yeah, this is... <laughs> what you have to do if you want to sacrifice yourself for them is you got to wait until the moment that it's too late for them to stop you and then explain that you've been setting up basically taking the hit for them. And then you tell them to tell somebody you love them. And, uh, and then... You peace out into the, that's how you, that's how you do it. Yeah. God, they're such a dick to him. <laughs> He's like the nicest guy there. I think that bird on that patch is a swallow. That's a weird thing to bring up, but here we are. It's been a weird day. <laughs> You guys are nuts. Count me in. <laughs> right. You son of a bitch. Let's get this son of a bitch. I'm from the yeah, future, boy. Chad. I shoot lightning from my fingers. <laughs> my time wizard. And hold hands and wash your hands. And before you hang out with that muscly dude, I want you to buy a lot of condoms. Like, like more than you think you're going to need. Oh, trick or treat, Trent. My goodness. Oh, Mojo Jojo walking up the stairs is voiced by, by the same guy who does the ghost face. Absolutely. Yeah, he's Mojo Jojo. He's also, I was looking him up earlier. He, he's done a lot that I didn't know about. Uh, uh, Celebrity Deathmatch was a big one. I love Celebrity Deathmatch when I was a kid. And if you were looking, you also would have seen the character that Samara Weaving played from Ready or Not. <gasps> Someone was dressed up. Yeah, as I can't her believe she's dead. I can't believe I was enjoying watching Samara, and then all of a sudden I thought, "Oh no, she's the first one." No, why, God, why? Also, this stresses me out. 
this kind of thing. Subway? Well, you saw how he got pushed in with the group. And now they're separated. That scares me that like I'll get on a thing and then someone doesn't get on this with me. And then I'm now I'm 40 miles away. I mean, we have cell phones now. I guess it's not that big of a deal. I love that line, though. Get your ghost face ass away from me, you ghost face. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, they're they're so suspicious of him. He has to be it. And they all have to go. We knew and he, he gets he should be lame. I don't know. I'm just upset that Samara weaving is gone. And then Flash went like right after her. God. And then Kittredge. Kittredge. Oh, man. Pour one out for the departed. eh? Oh, yeah. This is so fucked up. Oh, <gasps> is he on the train? He's on. There's a lot of them on the train. He just Ghostface puts on a different mask to kill people for a minute. Although for some serial killers, it's all about, you know, the situation. So it wouldn't work out. Branding his Achilles heel. That should be the next one is that he can't find they're all sold out of Ghostface. They finally decided that Ghostface masks are causing people to buy them and then murder people. It's a small amount, but it's enough to tell a company to stop making these masks as insensitive. So in the future, it's about a killer. And as soon as he gets one, he gets killer powers and these are hard to stop. And so they have to get the mask off of him and he loses the powers and they all get away. And like, we destroy this mask and he has to he's trying to find another one. It's like it a sounds heist like movie. the description of one of the stab movies in the beginning of Scream 4. <laughs> yeah, man. Let me write one of these, man. I know it now. I'm in it. Stab 5, they went back in time, and it really just went off the rails after that. If they do oh, it. Oh, they're ready or not, girl. If they do a time travel Scream movie and they don't call me, I'm going to be pissed. Right. Oh, I saw some people from Jordan Peele's Red. Or, I mean, us. They're wearing red. Oh, I love it. I mean, it's hard to not look at Pinhead, you know? Uh, the Hellraiser or whatever. Oh, there's a balloon. I'm guessing that must be an it clown. Yup. This is such a great idea. There's the uh, there's the nuns from that sad future nun show. Uh, what's it called? Yeah, abortion something. It's not called that. Scarlet abortion. What's the name of that show it's, with the nuns? It's on Prime. Uh, I only know one person and, that yeah, watched it, and they can't read, and because they have pictures on things instead of text. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> it's based on a book. Mm-hmm. And it's got the one girl who's a really great actress who's in Mad Men. Dude, not funny. Dude, not cool. I had to catch some of mine up real quick. I have I have two bingos. Mine don't count. Mine don't matter. So while we have a moment here <laughs> together, everything's working. If, uh, favorite Halloween costume you've had throughout the years. Is it the Steve Zissou one you're rocking right now? Do you have one you like better? It's it's a favorite these days. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've had some good ones over the years. There was a period there where I had a roommate where we did a lot of like duo costumes that were great. <laughs> oh, no, I did too. Okay, let's only talk about the duo costumes. What duo costumes have you done? Jesus and Zeus. <laughs> okay. I was Jesus. Naturally. Uh, I, you can Mario do, you can do Luigi. Zeus. Mario and Luigi. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, I could grow a mustache and he couldn't. And so his fake one came off early in the night. He had the bright idea to draw it in with Sharpie. <laughs> and then he's a uh, Wario. <laughs> yeah, he stuck that way for a while. Uh, That's permanent. I think I've only done one. I was Papa Smurf one year. That was a lot of fun. Oh, that's what did you do? The blue paint? Yeah. Oh, my God. Body and face. Well, paint. I wore a body body suit mm-hmm. for most of it. And I just did blue paint on the face. I hate having my face covered in paint because you because it doesn't look great with a beard. So that means I got to shave my beard. So that's not good. The last time I did it, I dressed up as a one member of the insane clown posse. So that's the duo of <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. I my a roommate Nate who was on um first couple episodes of the talk over he and I was Tucker and Dale the first year I moved to Madison um nice it's pretty good I still have the giver hat so I need to watch that one again all these college kids keep hawking themselves in my woodshed or, or wood chipper that's what it was see I was hoping this was gonna turn because I did also just watch the remake um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre and if you haven't seen that one uh, spoilers Leatherface gets loose on a bus full of tourists. It's awesome. Ooh. 
yeah, it is raw, dude. Um, it's it's pretty well shot. It's a really short one, too. It's a quick one. But I would love if just it was just Stab City up in here and, and Ghostface just goes ham in this this car. They're all trapped in there with him. <gasps> Not what? But she's a core four. You did say that she's she's the one that was dressed like Tatum, yeah. No, her girlfriend was. Um, oh, the one that fell. Yeah. Now she's gone. They're dropping like flies. Okay, so he's probably most definitely not the killer or one of the killers. This lady. Jeez. Oh, it's like the end of Collateral. I just I had that on in the background the other day where he leaves Tom Cruise's dead body on the train to just ride around. <laughs> the guy's just Captain Hat and Glasses. See, if Ghostface was a little bit smarter, he would have come up and stabbed him in the back as well. You wound one, use it to lure them out, and then kill the ones that come in and help. Oh, there's Shaun of the Dead. <laughs> which is played in uh, the four. second... Four. Is it four? Man. <laughs> <laughs> Ten out of ten. That's how you go out. <laughs> Fuck this. Good franchise. job. Good job. Right. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know if it made it into it or not about Hayden Pantiera, but them not being able to find her for the for the movie. Um, it's weird not seeing her for so long because you know the last thing I saw her and she was pretty young, and then she just hadn't been anything for a little while. Um, it's weird seeing her now all of a sudden an adult. Right. Cool. It's like, I, I hopefully she kicks off a second career like a lot of people do, you know? Yeah. What? But I love you. I respect you. I care for you. You guys are stupid. All four of you. Bunch of dummies. That guy is yoked. And if you're not being stupid about it, you can make sure he won't stab you. Just keep all everyone together instead of splitting apart. Love the word kill box. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's a, I like it when this comes up in movies. Someone's like, give me a gun. No. <laughs> I'm not giving you my licensed weapon. Like, <laughs> no, it's not a toy. I still have to support myself after we perform a murder. <laughs> and I don't want you shooting me with my own gun. So no, you can take it off of my dead corpse. It's all yours. Please don't shoot my dead corpse. It'd be real embarrassing. Again, cool. Great. <laughs> like, honestly, just do a voice. They should have just done a voice. Like, she have find a like she pulls a picture out of a book and then here's the voice. Or like she keeps a picture, she pulls it out, here's the voice. And it would have been way cheaper. <laughs> I, don't know. I like it this one a little bit. <laughs> Aaron just said core fucking four. <laughs> Agent Kirby. <laughs> God, I fuck it. Kirby's great. Yeah, but just Agent Kirby. I'm sorry if for anyone named Kirby. <laughs> it's a fun name. I think it's a cool name. But I wouldn't want anybody to be like called Dr. Kirby or Professor Kirby. Like it's, I might as well be hearing, you know, Captain Dude, you know, you know, the famous Nintendo mascot <laughs> Kirby is actually named after their lawyer. Oh, <laughs> OK. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, the famous lawyer for the company uh, named Kirby. They uh, bald guy. They named Kirby after him. Oh, for like, the uh, bald. Thank okay, you. that's funny. I don't really think of law. I think of the video game Kirby. So I was trying to figure out the. I mean, it's a yeah. nice reference, but 
Oh, there's a, there's memorabilia. Everyone can pick up a scream knife. It's a better video game story than Paku Paku, I feel. Paku Paku. Oh, then that's... Well, we already got it, but that's a uh, stab. One of the stabs. No. What is that? Oh, this is like a whole new thing. Yeah. Interesting. Yo, that place had Dr. Pepper and 7-Up? I'm moving in. And Pepsi? Yeah, they have Pepsi, but I mean, Pepsi's everywhere. Marcus Theaters have Pepsi. Because AMC has the gross every cola machines that apparently somebody has hosed down with sugar water. Poor AMC Theaters. They try so hard. Well, they don't, but I really want them to. <laughs> Mm, our, he kind of stole Marcus it has the everything pepsi machine yeah but i mean like you know the coca-cola one where you pick like all the flavors and it's on a touch screen and you could get like lemon cherry vanilla uh doc, dr pib that, yeah, that's what it is at the marcus over up by us oh okay do they clean theirs it's pepsi version <laughs> i don't know because every yeah that got me no hold on stop 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 she's core four stop he wasn't there for that meeting. That's an Andy that Lennox. I like them together too. Yeah, he was. He kind of stole that kiss, but you know, it's okay. We'll talk about it later or not. And he's also Chad. Oh, he is a Chad, yeah. That's fun. You got a name in, in the movies that you really, the series that you really like. It's fun. No, so he, hmm? right now, if you caught that, they think Kirby's one of the killers. Yeah. Got the mad hops. Oh, <laughs> he called it beheadings. <laughs> Smile for the camera. This movie's off the chain, baby. This movie has no reason to be this good. By the way, the, the credits has said a lot. Hey. He did your Donnie Dragon thing, but with the camera. I told you. That's how you get out of this. The subtitles have been saying Tara Pants a lot, which I think is really funny. Because she's panting, but Tara Pants, I wonder what those are. Terror oh. Pants. Pull some. Yes. That was a great fly. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, there it is. If we didn't get it earlier, that's definitely the surprise killer, man. Hundo P. Oh, no, Chad. Oh, God. Man. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I'm glad I paid. Well, I bought this and didn't rent it. Money well spent. Well, it was cheaper, too, but... <laughs> Oh yeah, grab a brick. Let's fucking go, brick sisters. <laughs> I had just said a couple of weeks ago, brick on a string is the ultimate zombie weapon. So, like, like bricks minus a string, it's only a one-time use. You gotta go pick it up. But on a string, pull it right back. Spin like a helicopter. Uh huh. <laughs> this is turning into that scene from the office. Everybody's like, <laughs> we're all going to get in one room together. <laughs> oh, no. You know what? You know what? That FBI agent was supposed to be protecting them. And he also was supposed to be protecting them. And he was a detective. I'm going to call this watch out, baby. That's a bingo. Yeah. Oh, no. Nope. I also have a bingo. Oh, it is a bingo. Yep. We still have a long way to go. We still have like 20 Wait minutes. Wait for it. Yeah. Okay. And everyone can go. We knew. We knew. What?
Not every Chad is a Chad. There's one here that's not a Chad. He's a Chad. You're a Chad, but you're not a Chad. Right. Hey, I feel it's your pain slander. with the Chad slander. The only Trent I know about in movies is a kind of a gross frat boy one from uh, Wedding Crashers. I think Bradley Cooper's name's Trent in that one. Oh, geez. I love Brad Cooper, but like <laughs> it could be something else, you know. It's funny. We both have frat boy names. We never went to frats. Whoa! Everyone forgot about her. The two killers are people no one cares about. They're the least interesting people in this movie, which made the, this that makes them the most interesting. Wow. He remember that scene I talked about where she was dressed like Tatum. Uh-huh. He was wearing the same clothes as Stu. No boring boy. Way. Wait. I'm going to count this as Maury show. Because it is, but wait, they're about to explain it all. Okay. What? Whoa. <gasps> Become. <laughs> What's the motive here? They're about to explain it. That's okay. the true Mori show of it all. Oh, there's even more like relations. Yeah. Oh, cyberbullying. Ghostface knows no bounds. Right. <laughs> That's in one of the movies. Uh, I think it's three. They have police on Nev Campbell and she's in the library. Maybe it's two. But Ghostface messages her. I was like, oh, they didn't go into cybersecurity to save her. He, she's not safe two, on the yeah. web. <laughs> Oh, dad. Okay. Oh. I don't think that all of the ghost faces are, I don't think that their uh, motivations are murder. I think their motivations are telling how clever they are. No, nope, they just explained it. No. Yeah. All right. So definitely Maury show. Ooh, we're I'm missing three before we have before I win, though. That's the thing. Closer you get to having more bingos, closer I get to winning. Right. And there's I can't believe the ones that are I, I don't. There's one we're not going to get. There's no way we're going to get Thunderwear. Not at this point. No. Unless we missed a spot when she was just being all sexually promiscuous earlier. No, I don't think anything got that far. I mean, we had some shirtless dudes. He was ironing his shirt while it was on. He, he wasn't doing that. Okay. <laughs> He's doing good. I think a good um, I, th I think after the reveal of one of the killers, I think when they're they're toed and their tone changes and they're really crazy when they're explaining their denouement. Like I, I, I like that. I think that's cool. It's pretty cool. What about his second son? What if I'm the second son? <laughs> right. We've been working on this since after the first staff movie. <laughs> this has been in this has all been in production before they existed. I guess they already existed. Yeah, because yeah. It's time to die.
If she does, if she doesn't use the brick, it's a that's a bad writing thing because it's a Chekhov's brick for sure. Right. I love how that worked in Scream 2 as well, where he's like, your child was a piece of shit. Mm. Oh! Oh, oh, man. Knocked her teeth out with a brick. Right. Jesus. Oh, right in the spot she got stabbed before. Oh, double brick. Yeah, <laughs> pulling it out to use it. Yep. Oh, let's go. <laughs> God, he didn't even like put up a resistance. He sucks. <laughs> I love that. I was like, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> like. Oh man, I'm getting real worried. I'm not gonna win this. This has been this has been a rough talk over. I've had a good time. You can only laugh about it, but boy, I've really botched oh, yeah. it. Oh, it's fine, man. But at least this is so far. No, <laughs> no. Whoa. <laughs> You're all shippery because of the blood. The blood, no, no, my feet. Okay. Your dad's right over there. Oh, no. Drop Sam on the other guy and then go pick up the gun. <laughs> Oh, she's going to do like a flying like falcon punch or something. Yeah. Do it. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Stab. Oh, no. I was hoping that she would have got one in before. <laughs> How does it taste? Does it taste bad? Tastes tastes bad. A little metallic. Oh God. Okay. Okay. Ah. Man. Ah. Uh, hey, that's against the rules. Subverted the rules. Yeah. yeah. Hey, good for <laughs> hey, you guys. Hey. <laughs> I love that's the reaction. Hey. Yeah. Proud of you. Good job. Killed a virgin. Now to shoot him. Stop stopping. Ha! I loaded it with only two bullets. <laughs> I anticipated this moment exactly. <laughs> Wait. Stop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> At least she didn't leave it. She's like, well, fuck it. Yeah. Bring it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Is that a tumble for you? <laughs> it's not downstairs. It was off from one story to another. Yeah, but it's not. Okay, okay. Yeah, I've been playing fast and loose in the race because I specifically wanted it to be they run upstairs, they fall down them. <laughs> it seemed to be the only way to traverse stairs in the Scream universe. Sarah Cop into. <laughs> oh boy he didn't dress up she didn't dress up like a mannequin come on now It's called going ghost face. We've been over this, Dad. Right. 
I always like the sound in the first one when Billy gets a little extra crazy and he's holding the the voice changer and he's just like, "How are you gonna die?" and his voice gets all high pitched. I always right. thought that was kind of cool. I will say that's the one thing that none of these have really done yet. I mean, it, they haven't had as many years in as the first Scream has, but people saying things in interesting ways that make it some of the phrases standing out, like the way that Matthew Lillard would do stuff, Skeet Ulrich, like a lot of people had interesting ways. Rose McGowan, weird ways of saying phrasings and stuff that stick in your head and you think about it, it makes them iconic lines. And honestly, that's the only thing that the other ones, I don't hear people quote the other ones that much. Uh, Core right. 4 is the closest thing I've heard to a quote, so good job on this one. This is crazy, but that's how you do it. Prison style. Yes, right. I want my cornbread. So ultra sexy She-Hulk is just inconsequential to the third act. OK. All right. Is the theater on fire or is it a video of fire? It's a video. Okay. So it's going to turn into an inglorious pastor. They don't hurry up. Oh! <laughs> Look with your eyes, not your hands. Ugh, man. Dang. <laughs> so you got to <laughs> wait for a big music cue to know it's okay. Because there's a lot of times they think it's okay in these movies because they kill a person. There's an extra killer or something happens. And it here it is. Play us out, Mr. Cage. Cave. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. For an amateur movie, that's actually a decent effect there. Burn the mask in the background like that for the credits. Oh, absolutely. And they they clearly picked like all the settings because there's also an outline and it's a yellow color and it's sometimes I'll be making stuff and I'm like, I've just picked too many different choices. You know, it becomes an indie movie where they use like a barn door wipe or a clock wipe or something. They're just going through all the presets and I don't know. Well, this music cue here is the one that lets you know it's okay. So Nick Nick Cave coming in is just, um, yeah, it's the it's the tension movie. breaking. Yeah, it's good. It's it, it was wonderful. But when you hear the like calm music, because they they have that in at least the first one and definitely a couple others. Um, I thought about doing that as well. Man, I can't believe Armajar is not. I think the door with the the we breaks the glass. I think that's their way of doing that different. Hey, came back. I hate this, by the way. That's the thing I hate the most about these movies, even in the first one. I hate, I hate, I hate it. Although it's pretty cool with the TV. That's good. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's all, folks. <laughs> oh, he's back. All right. Oh. He was worried. Is it cool if I like hang out with you longer now that you know I'm not the killer? Because I really you get into a lot of shit. <laughs> and I'm very worried. I love that, though. <laughs> Cute voice save the day. He's like, I called in the Calvary. I checked with the hospital to make sure Mindy's OK. Do, like, do you know what that is? That's called husband material right there. That is. <laughs> He is handling the business. He's also like, also, I finished up your laundry. I ran by the house because I knew you wouldn't want to do it later. Got a bunch of her hydrogen peroxide to take the blood out of your clothes. Like, yeah, I, I, um, yeah, I didn't finish watching Gen V without you. I waited. <laughs> That's husband material. Right. Mm. Yeah, Chad was part of the four core, man. That sucks. It was cool. I, I would have liked to have seen more. Wait a minute. No way. I mean, if do is he new Dewey? <laughs> ah, he's new Dewey. Oh, 
Oh, he's gonna have a limp and a theme. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> She's doing okay for having had the shit stabbed out of her like a little while ago. She's still like a D&D short rest, Jesus. Did you hear? She's like, they gave me a lot of drugs, by the way. You should get some of these drugs. <laughs> I like the four core, man. The core four. I like them. But this yeah. is how we're we're going forward. Oh, no. Oh, no. She's got a little serial killer in her. She's part serial killer. She's got dad's mask. Uh-oh. I'll be right back. <laughs> That's what she should have said. <laughs> Let me write the time travel scream. Then they go back and save Dewey, and that's how they bring him back to the <gasps> franchise. I would totally save Dewey. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. Wow, we did it. Look at us. <laughs> so, oh. if I remember right, every other screen movie, with the exception of four, has one last jump scare. As it goes, uh, well, to the it's usually the credit. It's 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 like uh, they're usually pretty terrible. There we go. That was good. That was good. Even the first one, this I hate one that last also one. That's pretty good. Has a post credit scene, I believe. We'll talk for a minute while this is um. Yeah. Don't try and make me watch my best friend's exorcism Amazon Prime. Let me what? <laughs> let me let me bask in this for a minute. Song's pretty good. I don't know who this is. Oh, what a movie. What a franchise. Oh, I've had a good time so this dear. week. Yeah, I've had a lot of fun watching these movies. I definitely, you know, there's a lot of movies that I watch and I don't really care for. And then I come back and check them out again later. And I then enjoy them later in life. So I'm glad that I went back on some of the other screens. But watching Scream 4 just really made me want to watch more of them. Um, It's a very, you know, it's like potato chips almost this this series. Like like you start watching one and you start thinking about all the others and it makes you want to hide. like honestly right now if I wasn't so bad at doing the talk over, I would <laughs> I would say let's roll into a second one or watch another scream or probably watch four or the first one. I don't know. I don't know if I could watch the first one on the talk over because I I would be talking over my own self because I've had so many years to think about that movie. You as well. Oh, so good. So good. Yeah. I, I know eventually down the road, I do want to do talk overs where it maybe both people are really high up on the movie, like really know the movie very, very well. Like coming up in, um, you know, uh, on black Friday, we're going to do planes, trains and automobiles. And like, I've seen that movie a billion times. I never really thought about talking over. It. It's going to be a little bit harder because it's a comedy, but you know, if it's bad, I'll blame Brandon. He's the one wanting to do it. <laughs> but uh, wow! So let's uh, let's poor Tony uh, Revolori. Revolori. Uh, poor Tony. You know, after this viewing, uh, Josh Segura MVP. Him. But I think it's changed my rankings. I think okay, it goes one six four now, and then two three five. Two three five. Okay. I had four above six, but I think six is my number two now. Um. I'm going to put it at three because four is so bonkers. Like I was hurting. I was laughing. I, te I text you. I was like, this is this yeah. movie ought to be ashamed because it's it's a radio silence. You were talking about them earlier. Oh, oh I thought it was going to be them. So it's a it's a post credit, not a mid credit. Yeah, um, it must be. I thought there I was pretty sure there was because it's just a funny like fuck you line. Like, yeah, I'm going to put this at three because you can't beat number one. Number one is damn near a perfect movie, and even its imperfections. Number one is referential to its own genre while being a staple of it. It somehow becomes its own new thing that is also representative of all things before. It is it is a pinnacle, it's a tent pole, and it was a big personally, it was a big movie in my life. And when when I'm a guy that doesn't watch horror movies a lot, a horse a horror movie has to be something different to really catch my attention. Um, and a lot of times, too, horror movies that I like, a lot of other people don't like. Like, a lot of people don't go to Nope as their favorite, um, you know, Peel movie. They go for, like, a, a Get Out or they go for, for Us or something like that. Um, yeah. But I love Nope. I think that one's, I think it's a good it's movie. Great. 
like I could I could do a TED talk on how well that movie's made. Just the things that people don't even notice. So typically when I like a horror movie, people are like, eh. like, I also like the faculty because I grew up watching it. It's terrible. I'll admit it. I, I was mean, not allowed to watch the faculty growing up <laughs> because my mother was a teacher. <laughs> you couldn't watch the didn't f- want to give oh, any bad ideas. Oh, about killing no. Teachers. Yeah. And John Stewart gets it. He gets it right. Like a pin in the eye with the fake drugs that they make. Jesus, that movie's insane. Um. Another dimension film, all those incredible dimension films. But, but but Scream is my number one because it's a it's it's too important, too big, too good, too good for everybody. I mean, I could go on for days about how how good it that movie up. is. And four is uh, I, I I don't want to speak ill of Wes because it was his last movie. But I was talking to my roommate Shane about uh, the Scream movies, and, and he was just like, "Yeah, that's the one where he had like grease on the lens or something the whole time." And I'm just like, "Yeah, I don't know what they were up to." But it looks like it's it, well, a lot of it's overexposed. So just just generally speaking, as far as like how it's made, it's bad. They also whipped in a whole bunch of like I didn't think they were fake at first. I was like, damn, they're still pulling uh, practice. I just d- didn't assume they would use fake lens flares. And then this chody little weird lens flare pops up. I'm like, I've never seen something like that before. The same one pops <laughs> up again a little while later. I go, oh, it's digital. <laughs> OK, so there's that. The acting's a little wonky. But it has some things that are just so banana sandwich. Again, I talked about the Anthony Anderson scene being just stand out because it doesn't look like the rest of the movie. It looks like it was made just for a trailer or something. Um, and and there's just so much more. I mean, I have lists of stuff that I could talk about. So so honestly, I would love to come that back and so do good. a talk over over four just to sort of make fun of it. But I don't if, if anybody's favorite movie is Scream 4, be proud of yourself. You are a horror fan. And that's what I love about horror fans. Horror fans are the best horror or the best movie fans in general. Horror fans are way more considerate of things that give movies way more of a chance. You're a huge horror fan. Aaron's a huge horror fan. Uh, a lot of my friends are huge, huge fans of those. And they will watch stuff that I'm like, I don't know if I would jump in for Ooh, Getty Images gets a <laughs> gets a shout out. But um right. but the, <laughs> these movies are Ones that you can't ignore, and I definitely agree with the sentiment that you guys have been telling me that it's worth coming back to the franchise if you stepped out after the first one. Um, it's so much fun. It's even more fun when you can binge them and marathon them or watch them in a week, and that's what I love about Haunted Honda Days, which is what I call October, and I watch every horror movie that I can. Um, and if you can, watch it with friends. It's even better. Man, horror movies are kind of the funnest ones to watch with friends. Okay. all right fine all right well let's talk about this real quick before we get up out of here so i didn't win you totally won the bingo congratulations what we didn't get was armajar which is literally a door with somebody reaching in around the door we got kind of close tumble for you we had some falls but nobody fell down the stairs or take it did fall on the stairs i thought about counting that one in the beginning but eh, whatever we don't think anyone was in their underwear um, and so that, that, but all the rest of them are there. And I guarantee you those other three are in literally the other five movies. So I'll post oh, yeah. some of my bingo cards that I went back and did for two and three. So you guys can see, cause those missed a couple. And that would be an interesting way to rank the movies. Maybe if I have time, I'll go back and do bingo cards for the ones that I don't have pictures of. So that way we can stack them up against each other. Almost like some kind of like a layered test or something where you can see like, you know, in the biology books where you lay the lungs on and then you lay the ribs on. Right. Like this one has all of these. This one has all of these. And we'll get out the overhead projector and really go back. I will turn it into <laughs> statistics so we can rank scientifically which scream is the best one. So, but honestly, Perfect. I probably could have made another 10 tropes and we probably would have crossed them off. And yet I get excited when I'm going to see them as opposed to, by the way, whoever voiced Chad in another language is Alexander Bacon. That's pretty cool. Um, nice. But the tro- you celebrate the tropes. You get ready for the kind of campiness and the schlock and all this stuff because they put a, a level of polish on these movies. And they don't have a whole ton of jump scares. They don't really have a lot of gore. There's a lot of blood, but there's not a lot of gore. So it's definitely violent, but it also doesn't feel it doesn't feel like it's celebrating violence any more than um, a John Wick or something like that. So I this is one that I think teens can get into. I think that's been one of the things that's great about them all along. And I feel like they're kind of getting back to what they should have been doing a long time ago. Like I don't if I had just watched any of the ones before this one, I would assume the next one's going to be terrible. But having seen this one and seen the last one, I actually think the next one could be pretty good. There's no way they're not going to do a Scream 7. 
It's got to be. Oh yeah, it's it's already been greenlit. Yeah. So what it, what are they gonna do? They have S7 a director. Seven E Ream or whatever. We'll figure out whatever the hell they call it. The one thing that makes me mad about the naming convention, we all love to joke about Five Cream, but it's literally just Scream everywhere. It, the te- it, technically the title is just Scream, and that makes me really mad <laughs> because. This one's screevy, but everywhere it's Scream 6. When On paper and on print, they did that with 5 Cream. They could have just made it a poster and then said, hey, guys, it's really Scream 5 because we're adults. But instead, it's just called Scream, and oh, it messes with my OCD. They even make fun of themselves within that own mo- their own movie there. But uh, just real quick to touch back on that, you know, it's funny you mentioned seeing it as a teen, seeing it as an intro to horror uh the second one my father rented for me when i was sick in middle school mm-hmm. we watched together okay he took me to see the third one in theaters when i was in eighth grade mm-hmm. oh wow like that so he's been very supportive of you in the scream so that's oh that, yeah. there's a good touchstone there with you guys exactly i love that so much all family fun i would totally watch a scream <laughs> movie with your dad that'd be a riot <laughs> get a couple of them sure. and just have a riffing good time that hey maybe that's what we ought to try and do when scream seven comes out i'll have a big group go together or something man it'd be so much fun but for sure, for i had sure. a wonderful time tonight a lot of things broke there was me chaos too. there was mayhem and you guys you didn't abandon me and by that i'm saying chad <laughs> if aaron is still here she popped in for another bit in the chat um but uh anyway go check us out on all the things and stuff got a facebook page you can get all the things on there and then i'll have the uh vod of this up tomorrow so with that this is stay safe out there stay spooky out there have a happy holidays and don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff yeah we talked over it we did